President Obama's reception in the German capital where he is on a whirlwind visit could have been warmer. Demonstrators in Berlin showed what they felt about the revelations of Washington's widespread surveillance program, of which Germany was among the top targets. RT's Peter Oliver went to take a look. Five years ago, when Barack Obama came here to Berlin, he was welcomed with a regal reception, treated as the, the great new hope for a better future. Well, five years on and five years of drone wars, whistleblowers and continuing economic strife as well seen uh, Barack Obama receive a very different reception. We've seen demonstrations out against um, the eavesdropping that's been going on, particularly uh, the use of PRISM here in Germany. Germany was one of the, the countries worst affected by uh, this snooping into of phone calls and, and emails. That's why that the country appeared as orange on the map of uh, nations that have been investigated. Now, this has prompted a lot of people to come out under the slogan of Yes, We Scan, and a parody of Barack Obama's election promise of Yes, We Can when he came to power those years ago. Now, to talk to me a little bit more about just why the reaction has been very different, I'm joined by Diani um, Barreto, part of the Free Bradley Manning Network. Thank you very much for talking to me. Why is it a different reception that President Obama is receiving this time? Well, I think this, uh, in the second term we expected uh, greater transparency and uh, the fact that he had uh, said that he would uh, go against the wiretapping and, and the surveillance of Americans, he's done exactly the opposite. And I think it's a, a scandal because it's a taboo in the German society, uh, the surveillance generally after uh, their experience with totalitarianism. And uh, yeah, I think it's, it's really important. I'm glad that this is now we have a global scale and just not the American citizens that, you know, should not be targeted. It's actually all of us and the metadata for example, yeah. It's not just data protection that's an issue for demonstrators. What else is the, is, uh, are you wanting to bring to the eyes of the US president to show that you're not happy with what he's doing? Um, I just think that these attacks of, on, on, free, on free speech, on the Fourth Amendment, on the press, and the attacks that we've had on the press, like James Risen and, and, and these people, uh, and the, these uh, preposterous uh, aiding the enemy uh, when in protections of sources and so forth, and, and that no longer we have no longer whistleblower protections in the US, I think this is an aberration. Yeah, I think these are the things that we should be bringing uh, to light and say, no, it's just not acceptable. That was Diani Barretta, one of the members of the Free Bradley Manning Network, talking to me about why people are out demonstrating and wanting to show the US president that they're unhappy. They're calling it Yes, We Scan. They want him to stop reading their emails and stop listening to their phone calls. Barack Obama's in Berlin for the first time as US president, but apparently not enjoying a welcome as warm as he did when he was candidate back in 2008. He was met by protests against the US eavesdropping following revelations of the NSA sweeping global surveillance with Germany among those most affected. Another group of activists were rallying too in support of the hunger strikers at Guantanamo Bay who've been refusing food for over four months now. Protesters wearing orange jumpsuits call for detainees to either be formally charged or released. In his keynote speech in Berlin, Obama called for the closure of the prison again, as well as touching on a whole range of international issues, as artist Peter Oliver reports. One of the major points, though, that was made by the US president at uh, this keynote speech in front of the historic Brandenburg Gate was that he wants to see a further one-third reduction in US nuclear weapons. Now, he said he would be contacting uh, the, the leaders, leaders in Russia to try and coordinate some further plan there. He did praise the, the work that's being done uh, with the New START Treaty, saying that that would uh, limit the amount of nuclear weapons in the world to, to 1950s uh, levels. However, he said he wanted to make that go further and wanted to try and push it on a little bit more by one third. And he'd be speaking to the Russian leadership about that. Now, Fred, thank you very much for talking to us. Just what type of reaction has uh, Barack Obama received from people here in Berlin? I think people were disappointed. Uh, as you already mentioned, uh, five years ago there were 200,000 people uh, listening to Obama and this time there were like 4,000 handpicked people, most likely ma mainly American. That's just like 2% of what he could uh, gather as a senator. People are disappointed with Obama as being a president. A lot of people from the left had big hopes that Obama will clean up the, the mess of the two presidencies of George Bush Jr. Of, uh, 
um, bringing in more transparency into government, and actually the opposite happened. If, what we can see now with the NSA prism scandal uh, is, is probably one of the biggest intrusions of uh, people's privacy, not only in the US, but also in Europe. We've seen demonstrators here on the streets of Berlin claiming that the NSA are Stasi 2.0. I mean, feeling's pretty strong, isn't it? Oh, it's it's very strong, especially in Berlin. It's the com uh, it's the 50th anniversary of JFK's speech in a back then uh, divided Berlin, mm -hmm. and it, it's just now accompanied by this scandal actually figuring out that the NSA is much more effective on spying than the Stasi, Stasi could ever have dreamed about. Frederick Roder from European Students for Liberty, thanks very much for talking to me. That's all we've got time for.